Welcome to Inside Santa Cruz. I'm Joyce Anderson, and today we're here for the Salvation Army Kettle Kickoff. And with us, I have two of our board members, and you are? My name is Karen Whitley. And? Dora Pepito. All right, well, welcome. This is going to be a fun day, huh? Yes. We have a great lunch going. Uh, you know, you and I, Carrie, have worked together on many different projects from uh, Goodwill. We've worked on Goodwill together, the auxiliary, but it's nice to see everybody here. What's one of the best things about being on the board? Uh, I've been on the board for over 15 years, and it's just really a nice thing to do. Uh, we find out about uh, different people that are in need of different things, and uh, the Salvation Army is there to help. Right. Doris, how about you? I just recently became a board member in August, and I'm enjoying it. Carrie brought me in, and it's a lot of fun, and we help people with uh, food and whatever their needs are. I know. Yeah. Both of you were here. I saw you here yesterday. You were yes. both yeah. working and volunteering, yes. so yes. you're great volunteers, yes. so thank you for that. And Anything else you want to yes. say? Another thing that we do on Thursdays, we have a, like a lunch and a, a Bible study, which is really great. We yes. have about sometimes eight to ten people there, mm -hmm. all women, sometimes men, it's, but it's a, a great thing to okay. be involved in. Yeah. Well, so happy to have you both and be able to speak to you today and for your services to Salvation Army. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I want to introduce one of our fabulous honorees, Jim, congratulations. Thank you, Joyce. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And I also want to introduce your wife, Jerry. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, this is a great Beautiful. honor, you know, Jim retiring, yeah. and it's just so wonderful. So how is the day going for you? Oh, it's going great. I'm loving having the time to myself. I'm staying very busy and uh, with a lot of different things. So my so-called bucket list is still long. There's still lots of things to accomplish. It's just a matter of time, but you can take every day as, as a new day and a new start and accomplish something every day and it's just working out great. Yeah, Fabulous. And I know you just moved, right? Yes, we did. Yeah. So that's a huge, I mean, yeah, that job was a, change, yeah. lifestyle and change, and is. house change. Yeah. That's yes. a lot. And he's doing so much of the moving, too. A lot of the work. So yeah. well, it's really well, nice. Well, I, I have now the time have, to do it now. That now makes you have a big home. Does he cook? He cooks very well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yes. 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 It's real nice things. because I'm still working. So, oh, but right. he's real good around the house. Oh, well, she bought me a beautiful uh, barbecue unit, so I'm learning how to barbecue. Oh, I'm actually smart. getting to the point I can get a piece of meat on the table without burning it to death or, or whatever, you know. He's so a great house husband. Yeah, yeah that's you know. a great one. Well, thank you. We share the home together. We have a good time. And yeah. We're still spending a lot of time with friends and trying to stay involved with the community. Oh, and it's sure, working out sure. Really, you know. well. So nice to honor you today. So. Thank you so much. I'm Very honored special. to be honored. I know that yeah. sounds a little funny. No, but it's great. It's, it's really special. Yeah. It really is. Well, enjoy the program today. Thank you so okay. much. You're part of it. You're not only being honored, but you're also emceeing. So yeah. it's a little different. <laughs> Sort of Thank you for playing really both roles. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> okay. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so yeah. much. I want to introduce Scott Hamby and Doug Burkle. And you are the new board chair. For I'm the, the new board chair for the Santa Cruz Advisory Board, Salvation Army. Well, congratulations Thank you. on that. Yeah. So this is going to be quite a, quite a day for you. And yes, it is. Time as the chair. Yeah, looking forward to it. Scott, you've been with the Salvation how many years now? Um, about 11 years now yeah. I've been with the Salvation Army. And you've been so active and so important, I mean, to make all this happen. Your sister, Laura, mm -hmm. does the video, and I mean, you two are amazing. Amazing brother and sister act. Yeah, well, <laughs> we yeah uh, we we do we do work well together. Yeah, yeah we we do this um, work on this together. But yeah, this is our tenth year, so we're pretty excited about that. And the time has just gone so fast. I know. I know. So we're pretty excited. We have some great honorees this year, and um, we have a new venue, and it looks beautiful here at the Holy Cross. Uh, Parish Hall. Oh, the Parish Hall. It really yeah. is nice. I mean, you know, we've had Hatter the Coconut Grove move mm -hmm. around some years, but this is a great venue. And yep. So, in a lot of, we have a chef back there that's cooking for us. Yeah, we have Billy Stars on the barbecue today. So, oh, yeah, we're looking right? forward to that. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. Billy's Firehouse Barbecue. Yeah. yeah. So you work for uh, I, Scotts Valley? I work Washington. for the city of Scotts Valley. Scott mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm the public works director for the city of Scotts Valley. Yeah. So with all that, you keep busy. And Doug, what do you? What I'm, do you a, do? I'm a retired firefighter with, from Central Fire District. Oh, you are. Oh, wonderful. And I'm now um, working for the Home Depot. Oh, you are. Yes, yeah, yeah. so I've been there for four years now. Yeah. Well, we just heard. 
are the Home Depot help help with our Christmas trees this year? Yeah, all the all the decorations on the on the tables were all donated from the Home Depot. That is so a amazing. lot of the um, the trees up here um, along the uh, stage and whatnot, we got some money, um, and they gave us a really good deal I on heard the, it was the trees. Really good deal. Yeah, Maybe extremely seven, good deal. Seven for the price of one. Is exactly. Kind of yeah, it was it really was something we couldn't pass up. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being instrumental in making well, thank that you. happen. And yeah. have fun today. It will be a fun stage. All right. Scott, thanks, Joyce. Good yeah, yes. good to see you good again. Good to see you as well. Denise, introduce yourself to the audience. I'm Denise Acosta with the Salvation Army. I do the social services. All right. And you are? What's that? Well, you, you are George, right? <laughs> yeah. You're a board member, right? Yeah. George is more than a board member. Okay, He's actually me. one of my best volunteers. Is he really? Yes. So you're wonderful. And so say your whole name to the I, viewers. I, I get work to death down there. I know, I know. Once a week, once a week. I know, but you do a wonderful but, job. But at noon, I get to go home, so. Yeah, you do a great <laughs> right? job. Exactly, we let him go. Today's, this is a wonderful venue. It's really nice here. Tell us a little bit about Can't fire me because I'm not an employee. I'm just a volunteer. <laughs> Volunteers are wonderful. We can't do what we do without our volunteers. No. Denise, tell us about what's happening at the Salvation Army. Well, we're just really gearing up right now for Christmas. We've got over 400 families registered, and we are excited because this is the time where we see all of our donations coming together, all the people that believe in what we do for our community coming together in a festive way and ready to give. But you feed so many families over the holidays and all year long. We're expecting a thousand um, guests for Thanksgiving, and really? that's a lot of turkeys. <laughs> that's a lot of turkeys, and all coming to the... Uh, They'll be coming down to the Laurel Street Community Center. They're being prepared at the camp um, by our camp staff, and they do an excellent job, and they help us do all of that. And then I've got, of course, all my trusty volunteers to get the table set and serve our, our clients, our community. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, happy Thanksgiving well, to thank you. Well, thank you. You Happy too. Thanksgiving to you, George. Okay, I'll see you later. Thank you. Well, look who I have here, Thelma Dolman. Thelma, so wonderful to see you. How are you? Oh, I'm wonderful. It's good to be here. <laughs> and Thelma, you originally, you helped start the kettle kickoff here in I, this area. I did, I did. Uh, I understood that Monterey and that area was having kettle kickoffs and making money for the association. And so I thought, if they can do it, we can do it. So that was 10 years ago. You're doing a wonderful <laughs> job. I know we're moving. How do you like the venue here? Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. This is wonderful. It's so bright and airy. And I the know. people are just so wonderful. I greeted so many folks out there. Oh, it's just well, you're, and you're you're you just turned ninety, right? Ninety-five. Oh my gosh, <laughs> ninety-five! And here's a volunteer that never stops. I think you're going to catch up to Esther Abbott. <laughs> ninety-five. Well, I hope so. Yes, oh, you will, you will. <laughs> Thelma, I can't thank you enough. You look oh. wonderful, and oh. you, everyone is so appreciative for all oh. you've done for the Salvation Army. Thank you, and we're so glad for your publicity and all the good things you do for Salvation Army that helps bring the information to the public and I love that that you do it. Thank you Thelma. <laughs> Have a fun day today. Oh happy, we will. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh and you you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I have here Harry Mayo. Harry, so good to see you. He's been a longtime volunteer with Salvation Army, and you're also a famous surfer. You're in the Surfer Museum. What are you up to these days, Harry? Oh, just taking a day at a time, approaching my 92nd birthday, so I don't have the movement I used to have. Well, yeah, your birthday this year is Thanksgiving, right? That's correct. Holy That Lord. happens every so often. Every so often. Well, happy birthday to you. Thank you. And so you're doing well, but you know, 91, oh. you're doing great. Thank you. Uh, it's always good to see you here. Well, it's good to be here. I, I believe in the organization and this is a good cause. This is the 10th one. The 10th one. Yeah. Well, Harry, you enjoy yourself today and yeah. have a good time. Thank Happy you. birthday again. One more Thank time. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Willie Elliott McRae. I'm the executive director of Second Harvest Food Bank and have been since 1988. Um, you know, it's, the food bank has just been my life's career. I, I grew up in Lodi. I'm a Lodi boy. I moved to Santa Cruz when I was 20 and uh, went to UCSC, and then after that, 
Started working at the food bank as the warehouse manager, uh, which I did till 1988. Um, 1989 was an interesting year for us. We got to know the Salvation Army real well uh, when we did the earthquake relief uh, back in 89. So sometimes people think I'm a little older than I am, but that's because my hair turned white overnight right after the earthquake. So, you know, working at the food bank all these years has just been very humbling um, and very fulfilling. And we've loved our partnership with the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army is very focused on how do we help that family move forward in their lives? How do we help them take responsibility for their health, their wellness, get them back on their feet? We love our, our partnership with the Salvation Army and that's why this program and this lunch makes such a difference. You know, it's been interesting over the years as we've really learned um, about the fact that so many of the families in our community are really struggling with deep issues. There was a recent article that we read in the newspaper that 20% of the people who live in this community are struggling with diabetes or prediabetes. Amongst the families that we serve, that's close to half. And it's been just a joy to work with the Salvation Army over the last 10 years to really work on increasing the amount of fresh fruits and vegetables that our families are eating, uh, to really teach you know, healthy food habits, you know, back in the day, we used to think that hunger was primarily a function of, of poverty. But what we've realized is that if we can make sure that our families uh, eat healthy food, eat fresh food, grow up, those kids are able to go to school and be successful in school and be successful in life, that's how we make a fundamental change in this community. We are absolutely changing the future of those kids. So. I just want to say that we absolutely have loved working with the Salvation Army all these many years. And one of the things that we really so appreciate this time of the year is how the community all comes together with the Holiday Food Drive. The Holiday Food Drive is really a campaign that supports the Salvation Army, Holy Cross Church, all the various food pantries, uh, and really brings in the resources that are needed uh, to be able to provide the food all year long to those families. Every month, all year long, we provide food collectively to about 17,000 families, uh, providing them about a half a million meals a month. And there's no way that any of us could do that without the community, and there's no way that any of us could do that without our volunteers. That's what I love about the Salvation Army and, and this luncheon, is it's really recognizing and honoring that that this is not the work of one person, one organization. This is really the work of the community. It's the work of thousands of volunteers that are making a difference in people's lives every day. Thank you so much. I'm Jim Vanderswan. You may know me from many years of being the meteorologist at KSBW. And, uh, and I've also been involved with the air show in Salinas and uh, of course the Salvation Army. And of course you can tell with the fact that simply I'm wearing a green shirt that I'm now retired. See, normally we do the chroma key, we do the weather in front of a green wall and you can't wear green because all of this would disappear. But now I can be comfortable in green. And I'm enjoying my, my newfound life here and uh, now we're looking at doing a lot of other things but still staying involved in the community. And uh, well, I can, I can tell you, it's probably a nice day out there, but since I'm retired, you're kind of on your own to get the weather from KSBW. Now we've got some good people taking care of business there. As for how we got into it, that's been basically my, my means of admission was KSBW, because as you may know, that station has taken on the Share Your Holidays every year at Christmas and our commitment to the Salvation Army to get food and clothing and toys and all that stuff for a lot of, a lot of people who in all these different communities that we serve around the Central Coast to give them the extra leverage. And it turns out for me it was one of those things that, well, as part of our commitment to the station, we often do things for in the community and, and, uh, and partake in different events and functions. And this was one of those things we decided to do. And it became kind of a, a tradition, you know, so many years we've been doing this now. And it actually ended up marking Christmas for me. More than Christmas Day itself, it was, that was the beginning of the season. I'm really not that interested in seeing Christmas merchandise on Halloween or before Halloween nowadays. And, and to me, the season ramps up when I see all that giving. 
when I see people coming out and, and, and with their kids and the 4-H clubs and the different organizations that gather money and the kids that build toys or buy toys for other kids and all the folks that bring all the food and clothing and you realize that there's a lot of support in the community for the Salvation Army. And the simple reason is people know this is a viable entity. It's a worldwide charity. It's been going for many years. They're getting so-called bang for their buck. They know that this is going to go to the right place, especially when they, they know it's going within their community. It's not just going somewhere else where they never really seem to know where it is. And to be part of all of that is, is pretty special, you know, to be just having evolved into that to say that they, uh, they trust me to, to bring the message out and get people to come and, and, and deliver. And they have over the years. And we've each year had greater and greater success in spite of sometimes a tough economy and, and really, you know, it's not always easy for people to give as much as they would like. But that's what keeps the ball rolling. And that's kind of nice to be a part of that. And then, of course, tied in with that, I started doing the kettle kickoff in Santa Cruz County. And, and that's been a real nice, you know, a real nice thing for me because besides getting involved with this end of the, of, of the bay, as it were, I also get to meet a lot of the people that are, that are our viewers that we never see because people forget. They see me and they say, oh, yeah, that's Jim. I know him. I see him on TV. But it's a one-way street. I don't always get to see the people. So it's a great way for me to get to know some of the people in this community, which I have over nine years now, I guess. So I guess if I can keep it huffing and puffing just a little longer, I'll get my 10-year pin from the Salvation <laughs> Army for what that's worth. But in any event, it is coming up on us again. You know, the Halloween stuff is out and probably in a few stores, Christmas things are already out and let you know. And then comes the time when you start hearing that bell ringing. And that's a time when you, you can really bring Christmas forward, the whole idea of giving. And, and then still keep in mind, too, that it's not just about Christmas. I mean, you guys have a beautiful facility here. All the other Salvation Army chapters in our area have, have facilities that help people in that community. And that goes on year, year long. So that's something to consider, too, that when you do get something in the mail in March or April or something, that, yeah, they still need the help. There's still people that need to be fed and need some clothing. And, and it's a good organization. It's a good way to do it. it. And it doesn't cost you more than something from the heart. So with that, I should say, you better give from the heart, too. And the next time you hear that guy or that woman on the street with that bell ringing, that means, yeah, whatever you got, some change, a couple of dollar bills, a five, a ten, whatever you can spare, put it in the bucket and have yourself a Merry Christmas. And I also want to wish you a Happy New Year and to thank the Salvation Army for this honor. It means a lot to me and I appreciate it and I'm glad it could be part of all the activities here. We gotta get some special words to inspire you. And I remember a few years back, he inspired all of us with what he had to say and I think he can do it again. He is the Deputy District Attorney, Monterey County, Jimmy Panetta. Thank you, thank you very much for having me here today. And thank you for your introduction. It is, uh, it's, it's an honor to be here, excuse the microphone. It's an honor to be here today, it really is. Um, and I'm happy to be here at the Salvation Army Red Kettle kickoff luncheon. I am humbled uh, to talk to you today about the Salvation Army and how appropriate it is for all of us to support such an organization that truly embodies our obligation to serve. Now, I've said this before, I said it last time and I'm gonna say it again. We are a nation based on service. It's stated so clear in our constitution that we're a nation of we the people. And I think our founders left it up to we the people because they knew what we could do with our inalienable rights. But sometimes, sometimes we forget that although those rights are self-evident, they are not self-executing. And so I, it's, I honestly believe that it's up to us, it's up to organizations like the Salvation Army to make sure that we serve so that everybody has an opportunity to secure their rights. The Salvation Army responds, they serve, and they stay. The Salvation Army represents the best of our humanity at the worst of times. There's a reason why the Salvation Army is one of the most trusted nonprofits in the world. It has over 1.5 million members, serving 17 million people each year year over 17 million people each year in over 125 countries now i realize that most people don't know about all of the services of salvation army but everybody everybody recognizes that red kettle and everybody knows what to do when you see that red kettle you don't just pass by you put something in 
And this reminds me of a joke I've often heard, and I think Mayor Don Lane heard plenty of times in the past 30, 40 years that I heard growing up about the rabbi and the priest who went to a boxing match to get to know each other. Right before the bell rang, one of the, one of the boxers made the sign of the cross. The rabbi looked at the priest, shoved him, and said, what the hell does that mean anyway? And the priest says, not a damn thing if he can't fight. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the Salvation Army is more than about signs and symbols. The Salvation Army is about being able to fight for us, serving us. And that's why we're here today, because we hope that you will fight. We hope that you will give to the Salvation Army. Because when you do that, when you see that shiny red bucket that looks so pretty, please, please put a pretty penny in it. Don't pass by it. Put something in it. Because by doing so, you're going to uphold the spirituality of the Salvation Army and the spirit of service ingrained in our country, ingrained in our community, and in our humanity. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I want to introduce Joseph Haston, General Manager of KSBW. You know, it's so wonderful that you're here to not only to support Jim Vanderswan, who's retired, but all the things and the what the station brings to our community. So, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Um, it just the certainly the Red Kettle kickoff up here is a great way to start the season. But our service at KSBW and Central Coast ABC, as you know, goes all the time uh, with many, many events all across our service area. So in Santa Cruz, certainly with Share Your Holiday coming up, we'll be here again at the Capitola Mall and along with five other locations and that's on December 11th, so that's cool. Uh, but across the board, uh, how we keep Santa Cruz close every day on a news basis, Phil Gomez is here right. and the only um, the only news bureau in Santa Cruz, active news bureau in Santa Cruz, so we keep that here full time. So. Uh, Phil is here with uh, Tom Lopez, our news photojournalist. So sure. they fully staff our bureau here. So it's uh, it's a great way to keep um, Santa Cruz at, with Monterey and Salinas. Uh, it's a big broadcast area, and right. we're spread around. But we try to make sure every day that we're bringing the best that we can on a news coverage basis. And you do an amazing job, and I love your editorials that you do. <laughs> I've always, you know, I always wonder what the feedback is. But sometimes you get back with what the feedback is. Oh yes, which yes, I yes. We have, we have I like it when it's controversial. We have to. <laughs> when, when we have we have response every week, but not when it's an overwhelmingly large response, and not just you know we'll get very nice responses from people. They go, oh, you hit the nail on the head. But we can't do a you know if a, if it's all positive. So right. a week where we have a lot of polarity, we'll put on um, some varying views to let to, to respond to let the people respond back. And certainly on our Facebook uh, page, uh, there's response every week uh, from our editorials. We've we've had an active editorial board now for 836 weeks. So wow, uh, we've not so missed wonderful. a week of publishing. No. So you do a wonderful uh, job. I know I'm on Facebook with Dan Green and Jessica Bo. I yeah. know her. Oh, yes, so, yes. you know, just and Jim, everybody's been so wonderful to support our community yeah. in, uh, in more ways than one. But thank you thank for you. being here. Well, I want to introduce a familiar face. This is Renee from Twin Lakes Church. Twin Lakes Church. Last that's name right. is pronounced Schlepfer. It's pronounced Schlepfer. You okay. got it right. Got it not right. many people yeah. know how to say that, but okay. you got it. But Renee was a former honoree a few years ago, and also, you know, you helped. We had Christmas decorations this year, and I heard someone said that you help provide some That's of that right. money for that, which is so, so generous. You're welcome. And you know how we make every penny count here, so. The Salvation Army, that's one of the things it's, it's known for, is making yes. every penny count. So, yeah, yeah Twin Lakes provided uh, some money for the decorations at the Kettle Kickoff because we just believe so strongly in what the Salvation Army does. It's a wonderful, wonderful organization. and. The lobby for the two weekends before the, the gift pickup is just piled with all these Salvation Army gifts that it's really wonderful and the people in the church love to do it. And then we provide people an opportunity to serve at the gift distribution. I've done that myself with wow. my wife wow. and my kids. Yeah. And then we also give people a chance to be bell ringers, which I've done myself standing outside of stores ringing the bell during the kettle collection. So we love the Salvation Army and we love to get involved thank with you, it at, at Twin so Lakes much. Church. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you and thank Twin Lakes Church and all the parishioners and people that They're so support. generous, they Angel really are. Angel tree gifts, yeah. I mean, just amazing. So yeah. thank you for all you do. You're welcome, Joyce. No wonder you're a great honoree. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, I want to introduce the amazing chair and co-chair of this event. You ladies did a fabulous job. Jennifer and Sherry. And Sherry. And so tell us how it was. I mean, it was really a great day. 
Uh, well, Joyce, uh, we took on this project uh, just out of our uh, love for the Salvation Army and what they do in our community. And as out of respect for uh, the founders of this event who started this 10 years ago today. And uh, we're just proud to be here. Our honorees are, are well respected in our community. So it was a pleasure to be able to, to um, honor them at this event. And yes. Sherry, you've done a, you know, both of you working together. I mean, you have more or less had to start start from we started this, from, from scratch. From scratch. Yeah. It was nice because it was the tenth. We had a new venue, new time, new menu, and so it was really fun for Jen and I to say, okay, we get to put our twist on it. And I think the music today was just phenomenal. That it, it, the place settings just, you know, they were just beautiful, and people were just happy to be here and we were happy to well, have Well, you them. put such a good program together. I mean, I talked to Renee from uh, Twin Lakes Church. You uh -huh. talked about how you help contribute with the decorations and how much they support the angel tree. Yes. And then we talked to another George who worked at Home Depot on the board. He was talking about all the discounts and you went right after it. I mean, yes. you were both really amazing and also, uh, Cheryl, you know, Anderson, she was so good to bring that home. What was it, 40 of them? 40, the yes. Cabrillo uh, And they corral. showed up the Cabrillo Corral. So I don't know how you pulled all these things <laughs> off. Magic. Uh, magic. <laughs> yes, off. we did. Magic. Probably had a few yeah. sleepless nights, I know, when you do an event. <laughs> yeah. But yes. yes, the food and the person that um, the chef donated his time. Billy Stars. Billy he Stars prepared the it. food. Mm -hmm. so it was it, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Holy Cross Holy Cross Church uh, has been just amazing to work with. Yeah, they really? They've been yes. so gracious and so kind, making it possible for us to do this and at a reasonable cost so we could put more money to our programs. Right. So. Well, you have to go home and just have a good night's sleep tonight. Now, I know you're so proud of your work because it really was wonderful. Jimmy Panetta did a great speech. Joseph Heston was here. Jim Banner Swan. I told him the same time next year, he said, yes, a date. <laughs> So Wonderful. Said, show Good. Up, show up next year because they're all Good. willing to support yes. and what they do. They believe and I in hope it. you ladies are going to be doing this right again next year. I hope you are. Well, yeah, we'll see. That remains to be seen. <laughs> We're well, going to come in with a little negotiating. Yeah, for okay. Next year. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of that. But anyway, again, congratulations. Thank you many, so much. Many, many thanks from everybody at the Salvation Army and, of course, your board members. So. And I have to really thank all of the servers who are all Salvation Army Corps people. And the young ladies and men were just wonderful. Yeah. They did everything we asked them. I mean, we worked so hard yesterday just doing the grunt stuff, getting everything out. And nobody complained. No. It was just really... It was lovely. What was nice with the servers, they were there to put things yes. on your plate. And that was so a big shout out to all the wonderful volunteers that, that helped today and that helped all year long with, yes. all, the, with all the clothing the same and people. the food and everything they do. So, yes. Well, happy holidays both Thank of you. Happy same to you. Happy holidays. Until next time, bye now.